start, I would like to go in the Lord in prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank God. Amen. So today I'm going to talk about a courageous conversation about why we believe the lie from a teenager's perspective. Have you ever heard a lie that you knew wasn't true, but yet you still believed it? Have you ever had a serious conversation with yourself about why you fall or believe the lie when you know the truth? The world is filled with many lies that we choose to believe. Yes, I said choose, because we have a choice of what we believe. Today I'm going to highlight four lies that we as teenagers choose to believe on a daily basis. The first lie I believe is that being accepted is worth the compromise, whereas doing drugs, having sex, vaping, skipping school, uh, all are part of a compromise people are willing to make just to be accepted. I know, I know that feeling where you're sitting alone at the lunch table and you see the person next to you filled with people that are cursing, doing things you're not supposed to be doing, but however, this is the table everybody wants to sit at because people are willing to compromise their integrity just have a few friends to sit with at lunch. The lie will have you to believe that good care does not matter. Does not matter. I remember specifically in middle school being called a goody two shoes. At first, I just took it as a compliment until I found out what it really meant. It made me want to change my whole character just so I could fit in, so I have a little friends by my side. Because the people didn't want to hang out with a teacher's pet, they didn't, they didn't want to hang out with a snitch. But however, the word of God tells me that a good name is better than riches and bad company corrupts good character. James chapter four, verse 17 says that whoever knows the right thing to do and fails to do it for him is a sin. Truth be told, we all want to be accepted. We all wanted to hang out with the popular kids in school. We all wanted to have friends, but we don't have to compromise our good character in order to be accepted. I am no way perfect. I have plenty of shortcomings but I'm okay with being called a goody two-shoes. Compromising should never be an option. The second lie we believe, the lie that everybody's doing it. I've been told several times by people that used to be my friends, whether it was vaping, skipping school, having sex, they all would tell me, everybody's doing it. Nothing can happen to you. You won't get hurt, but you can get hurt. Did you know that according to CDC stats in 2015, 229,715 babies were born to women aged 15 to 19. Did you also know that according to a teen survey conducted in 2017, when teens were asked the question if they drank alcohol within the past 30 days, 30% said they drank some alcohol, 14% said they binge drink, 6% said they drove after drinking alcohol, 17% said they rode with someone who had been drinking. Excessive drinking is responsible for more than 4,300 deaths each year. But again, the lie is everyone's doing it and nothing will happen to you. So what do you believe? I had a friend of mine, she used to be my best friend and her and I were really close until she started hanging out with this one girl. This one girl was into the vaping, the drugs, the drinking. So my friend got put into a situation and she ended up doing those things. So I asked her, I said, why are you doing this? And she told me, everybody was doing it. It's not going to hurt you. Nothing's going to happen. The truth is, a lot can happen. The Bible tells us in Exodus chapter 23, verse 2, don't go along with the crowd and doing evil. Doing things all in the name of everybody's doing it can cost you your destiny. So what will you believe? The third lie is a big one. I need a boyfriend or girlfriend in order to be happy. We all have been guilty of this lie at one point in our lives. I used to struggle with this lie personally. I used to look at my friends, be happy in the relationships, and I would think, wow, I wouldn't be like that. I want someone that can make me happy. But social media relationships have really taken a toll on this generation. Whether you're scrolling on YouTube, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, you see these couples that seem to be living the perfect life. And you start thinking to yourself, I want to be happy like them. Truth of the matter is, no one can make you happy except God. At 15, I realized that I don't need a boyfriend because I see my friends put all their time into one person and they lose track of school, goals, friendships, even family. And buying into this lie can also lead to sexual sin because some have believed they have to have, as Mr. Temple puts it, bedroom aerobics to keep a boyfriend or girlfriend. 
the word of God tells us that there's a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. The Song of Solomon warns us not to awaken love before its time. This is a serious warning, and failure to comply can lead to disastrous consequences. Relationships are bad, but if you believe that you have a boyfriend or girlfriend on earth to feel good about yourself, this undermines the truth that God is able to satisfy you, not a boyfriend or girlfriend. We need to seek God first, and he will direct our paths. I have also found that sometimes it's easier to believe the lie once you become comfortable with the lie. One of my favorite shows I like to watch is The Four, and a contestant had came up, had said his name, what he does for a living, and he works on a garbage truck. There's nothing wrong with that, but he had said something that caught my attention. He said, at first, the smell was awful, it was terrible. He couldn't stand it. But then, after a while, he just got immune to the smell. He couldn't smell anymore. And I was like, that's how it is with sin. At first, it bothers you. You become uncomfortable with it. But then once you do it over and over again, you become immune to it. It's like, you can't smell it anymore. The final lie is beautiful girls are handsome guys are better. This is another one we must fight not to believe. Have you ever looked in the mirror and just told yourself, I'm ugly, I'm fat, I don't matter. Why don't I look like her? Why don't I look like him? The media, movies, and magazines do a pretty good job of doing this. The media tells you if you don't look like a Kardashian or if you don't have this perfect body, that you're not pretty. We allow the world to speak lies into our hearts and minds to tell us our worth. This lie has caused people to have eating disorders, binge eat, purging themselves, all to look like the person on a magazine cover. This lie leads people to get body enhancements, to change our body shapes, and other destructive behaviors. The cosmetic industry has made a fortune off this lie. Truth be told, just because someone says something about you doesn't mean it's true. I've gotten bullied for my forehead ever since eighth grade, and it really started to affect me last year. Um, I didn't want to get braids. I would always have a hat on my head. You would always see me wearing a bandana around my head just because of someone said about me. But the word of God tells me I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Why should I be worried about what a little boy has to say about me? Because God created me, which is beautiful. And being confident with yourself is not being arrogant. It's just knowing how God created you, which is beautiful. Don't believe the lie. As I close, the bottom line is that we live in a world filled with lies. We must have a courageous conversation with ourselves, asking ourselves if we're going to listen to the voice of truth or the lies of the world. God can't lie. His word is a lamp for my feet and the light for my path. If he said it, we should believe it. Here at Overcoming My Faith, my youth pastor, Miss Christina, she taught us a lesson about me more than pretty, that we are pretty, but our value is so much more than that. She letting us know that we are far above rubies and we matter. Lessons like that let us know that Satan is the father of lies, and we don't have to believe the lie because we know where it comes from. But none of that matters if we continue to believe the lie. We must remember that because of God's great love for us, he sent his son, Jesus, to rescue us from all the lies we have believed and we've spoken on to ourselves. Lies imprison us, but the truth sets us free. Romans chapter 3, verse 4 says, Let God be true, but every man be a liar. We all have a choice. We don't have to believe the lies. So today, choose to listen to the voice of truth, which is God's truth. Thank you.